two deadly shootings just hours apart and less than a mile away from each other. Tonight, there's no word on a suspect in either of these cases, and now we're hearing the frustration and concern in that very community. Fox 12's Bonnie Silkman headed out to the Lentz neighborhood near 84th and Foster, where one of two shootings happened just yesterday. Two deadly shootings, nine hours apart, less than one mile away with zero arrests. It was just another sort of notch in the neighborhood. Holly Anna McCollum says flashing lights and violence here in the Lentz neighborhood are becoming her new normal. Having to talk to the police on a regular basis, living in a place where, you know, those sort of things just happen and you have to kind of come to terms with it. It's a reality she can't ignore. Right across from her house, we find bullet holes and crime scene tape near Southeast 93rd and Henry. This, police say, is where 34-year-old Robert Lewis was shot and killed. My neighbor said that he was holding his hand as he felt like he was dying. We're told Robert was a father, husband, and brother, the rock, heart, and soul of his family. The last encounter I had with him was I was mad at him for parking in front of my driveway, and it's hard to process that because I, I feel bad about the emotions that I have. And just hours before this scene, another deadly shooting right up the street at Southeast 84th and Foster. Flowers and flickering candles now marking the murder of another man. This, police say, is where 39-year-old James Richardson was also shot and killed. I know it's a neighborhood that has had a lot of trouble. Obviously, the term felony flat doesn't come from nowhere. A painful reputation that many here are trying to fix. We're among the people that want to make it a place that, that we want to live and continue yeah. living. You know, I, I don't have a desire to run from Lentz. There's a lot of good things that are happening here. Bonnie Silkman, Fox 12, Oregon. Police do not believe these two shootings are connected. And again, so far, no arrests have been made in either case. If you know anything, you're asked to call police.